Hi there, and welcome to Teaching Proper and Improper Nouns. I'm Robin Norgren, and I'm a third grade teacher, and I would be happy to talk to you all about this. Here are some examples of proper nouns. Names of people, like Jennifer or David, or whatever your name is. Names of animals, like Max, who's a dog, or Luna, who's a cat. Names of things, like Nike for shoes or Lego for your toys. Names of places like the city of New York or the Statue of Liberty. Nouns are words that name people, animals, things, and places. Proper nouns are specific names of people, animal, names, or places. And they always start with a capital letter. Now, an improper noun are general names of people, things, animals, or places, so they do not start with a capital letter. Now, let's talk about each one of the categories of nouns. What are proper nouns? Proper nouns are specific names of people, things, or places. And, remember, they always start with a capital letter. Now, let's practice what it is that I just explained to you. Which of the following is a proper name? A, Apple, B, London, C, Book, D, Table, E, Soccer. If you said B, London, you are correct. Now let's go over what improper nouns are. Improper nouns are general names of people, animals, things, or places. So if you look over and you see an animal and it looks like a dog, and you call it a dog, that is an improper noun, which means it doesn't start with a capital letter and it doesn't give you the name of the dog that you see. Make sense? Now here are some examples of improper nouns. General names of people, like if you call your teacher just teacher rather than her actual name. Or if you go to see a doctor, but you don't say what the doctor's name is. Or, as I mentioned in my example, just saying the word dog or cat. Or if you identify what an item is, like a book or a table, or just general names of places, like I'm going into town, or I'm going to the city, or did you see that landmark? Now remember, proper names always start with a capital letter. Using proper names in sentences. Proper names can be used to give general sorry, excuse me, specific information in sentences. For example, my friend's name is Emma. She has a dog named Max. Do you see the difference between the two? We could say it a different way. I have a friend. She has a dog. But when you give us the name of the friend and the dog, now we're giving you proper nouns. Did you know that Famous landmarks are proper nouns, like the city that you live in. Maybe it has a famous landmark. I live in Arizona, so one of my famous landmarks would be the Grand Canyon. Here's some fun facts about proper nouns. Proper nouns can also be the names of famous people or names of books, movies, and more. Examples include Harry Potter, Mona Lisa, the Eiffel Tower. Proper names are important for giving specific details and making our writing more interesting. Now, here's some more questions, and this time I won't put an answer that makes you feel confused, <laughs> just to make sure you're paying attention. Is dog a proper noun or an improper noun? Is Paris a proper noun or an improper noun?
Now you can pause this recording and you can play this quick little game with your group. Would you rather be a proper noun or an improper noun? And which one would you be and why? Now let's put all this information into action. And there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can do it as partner work, or you can also do it as a writing activity. So the discussion could be, share one proper noun you would include in a story if you were telling a story. Share an idea with your partner, or you could write it down. Think about this. What type of noun is easier to write a story about? And then finally, write a topic sentence using your proper noun. Thanks so much for stopping by. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to hear all things ELA and third grade.